Let me show you a quick, easy way to make sure that iMessage is enabled or turned on on your iPhone. iMessage is probably already turned on on your iPhone, but maybe in the past you turned it off to conserve some data, and maybe you forgot how you turned it off and you want to turn it back on. You'll know this if all of your text messages, even when talking to other people on iPhone, are going to be the green text bubbles instead of the blue ones. To get started, first find and open the Settings app. Once you're inside of here, scroll down, and then here near the center of the screen, you'll see Messages. Choose this. Inside of the Messages menu, here near the center, you're going to see iMessage, and to the right will be a toggle to turn it on or off. If the slider to the right is turned on, then iMessage is already enabled. If it's gray like this though, tap the slider to turn it on and to activate iMessage on your iPhone. You can also choose how you send and receive iMessages by tapping the send and receive option right underneath of it. Inside of here, you can then choose which phone number and or email addresses that you want to use for iMessage. I'll usually always have my main phone number and email address that I use here. Remember that for iMessage to work, everyone in the conversation needs to have iMessage enabled and be on an iPhone. In the future, this may change with Android devices, but for now, just remember that that's going to be the requirement. If someone you're messaging does not have an Apple device or hasn't enabled iMessage on theirs, your messages again are going to be sent as SMS text and the text bubbles are going to appear green instead of blue. And that's how you turn on and select how you use iMessage on your iPhone. Thanks for watching.